Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Serrano. How's it going, guys? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 10.2 inch iPad. Now, this is more of an update video. Now, a lot of you guys know we are running iOS 14 um, on most, well, actually, all iPad pads, iPhones, everything like that. They're all getting the iOS 14 update. So, we're going to be taking a look at it right now. So right here, it says that if you go down into your, 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 your settings option on your iPad, it's going to tell you that you have um, an update inside of a general options here. Go to software updates and you're going to notice a few different changes. Widgets are going to be a lot different. So you says introducing new Apple Pencil features, redesign apps that take advantage of iPads, large multi-touch display, compact designs for Siri. Okay, so the device is now updated, guys. Um, well, that was really quick. Is that uh, different? I think it, instead of you it just pressing it now, it automatically, let me see. Okay, so you could just press it now, it goes straight to the, I don't know if that's new or not, but one of the things you could do is long hold these widgets right here and you can add stacks to them and stuff like that. So this is uh, edit stack. And then you could add uh, things on top of it, like photos. Let me see. So these are the things here. I'm not really sure. Okay. Oh, you could change the way that they are. There you go. So you can change the stack. I'm just learning right now. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So you can edit them here and then you're going to have access to moving them around. So obviously I don't use that one, we'll remove that one. Um, you know, the stock market's cool, but I don't really use that. I don't use that. And stories, you know, we'll keep that there, but these are the main things right here that you might want to have. So um, if you swipe up, you can see the rest of them, which is kind of cool. That looks really sweet. I like how they did that. Let's swipe this way. Okay, so that's all the way over there. Okay. Holding the home screen easily allows you to edit them. So if you hit this plus button at the top, now you can see you have um, something for clock. You can add that down here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Then you can add your reminders if you have any, I don't know. I'll put that there just, just to make it look cool. Let's say you want to add um, the app suggestions. You can add that as well. Um, you also have another few options down here for other apps. But overall, that's a really cool change to the overall interface laptop, especially when I connect my keyboard attachment case to it. It feels really good. So um, you can see there is a new gen um, right here. And um, so there is a newer gen. The speakers on this device are really, really good, in my opinion. Um, obviously, you saw some of the changes that they did make about the pen um, as well. But this is this guy makes really good videos about the the iPad as well. There's a lot of good YouTubers out there. Fernando um, Fernando makes really good content as well on it. Let's go ahead and. Um, just take a look at some of the apps in here twitter a lot of the apps you can use on the chrome i'm sorry not the chrome the safari so i use youtube and safari i also use instagram there as well so let's just type here <clears throat> instagram right there and it's really quick and you can see everything is um gonna be um nicely here so I definitely think it's cool because, um, you know, everything looks really, really good on, on the Instagram for the desktop mode. It's really fast, really fluent. Um, you, one of the things I do like about this is if you're in Chrome and you swipe up, you can also enter another um, split screen window as well. So you could have, you know, Twitter on one side or Instagram here, and then you could have you know, you could search for something on Google, you know, you know, like then the keyboard is actually pretty nice. So you could see like Oppo, 
find wait what's a really sweet phone right now the google pixel 5 well that's not ready yet but it's supposed to be coming out soon you can see some leaks here really nice um zooming here so it's just really really nice experience here um you can minimize that one or maximize it and you can see uh you can see all of your social media on the side here while you know doing your thing here maybe you want to jump back into some youtube open up another window for youtube that could be playing in the background i could i could play you know some 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 um, music in the background or something and um you know you could search for something i don't know but you, you see what i mean and then you know, if you want to get out of that, you could close it, close that, double tap this, get to your most recent, jump back in iMovie, let me see, you, I, I have the Microsoft um, Word application on here, which is kind of cool, you could do some office work, you could also browse the internet, just some, watch Netflix on here, Prime Video, so that's about it. But I do like this overall uh, widget thing on the side of here. They also offer a data version for this one as well. But these things are just really clean as far as, you know, performance. I mean, I'm not going to probably, I'm not going to upgrade this yet unless I have to. But I don't really see a need for it yet. So thank you guys for watching. Stay locked in for more videos just like this. And if you found this one helpful, I appreciate a like as well. A sub would be tremendous, but I'll check you guys later. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are. Later, crew. Peace.